Hello everyone, this is Misty Spears once again, and with, I'm here with another installment of my series, How to Publish a Book Using the Kindle Platform. Today I'm going to be showing you a fairly quick demo of how to take your Scrivener project and export it into the Kindle book format. Um, as a default, Scrivener does not have a Kindle uh, publishing export feature to create a Mobi file. So what we're going to do to make it possible to export as a Kindle file is to head on over to the Amazon website and download their tool called Kindle Gen. I'm just going to pull that up right here. <coughs> Once you're there, you're going to need to click on this link right here, or the checkbox for I agree to terms of use. And then you're going to click the download now button next to the version of the operating system that you're running for your computer. I'm running a Windows uh, system, so I'm going to click this one, hit download now. And it's going to quickly download and it's going to download a zip file. So what you're going to do is double click that or open it and you're going to unzip it to a local directory. I'll just do that now. And there we go. Once you unzip the contents, all you're going to do is take this kindlegen.exe file and place it somewhere on your computer that you'll remember not to delete. That's very important. Don't want to delete this. For me, I have a folder under my documents that I use to house, house all my third-party tools. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go under my documents, software. And you'll see it's already in there for me. Uh, that's all there really is to do in that part. The only thing we need to do is tell Scrivener where that's located at. And this is part of the whole export process. Now to get into the compile mode you have two options. I'm actually, I'm sure there's probably more but these are the two that I use most frequently. There's a little icon right here that looks like a document with a blue arrow to pointing towards it. You can hit compile and that will open up your compile. The other thing you can do is hit Control shift and the E key, the letter E, and that will bring it up to you. I'm, I'm a fan of shortcuts, so I, I like to do that when I can. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, as you can see down here on the left-hand side, there's a Kindle Gen tab. But right now, unless you have it uh, already set up, it's not going to let you export uh, in that format yet. Um, but all we have to do for it to let us is to tell Scrivener where the location of that kindlegen.exe file that we saved earlier is located. So I'm going to click this button right here and navigate to that. So there we go. Hit open. And now I've told it. Now all I can do, I can either compile or I can save and close. But there are a few other things that I might want to do before I actually compile. If you want to give it a run and, you know, just to see what it looks like, that's fine. Um, but I think there's actually a few other tabs that I do want to just mention real quickly. Um, at a minimum, these are just the, a couple things that you want to touch on. First here is the metadata tab. And you're going to enter in all your pertinent details about your book, such as your title, Arth your author, your description, date, anything else that you want to put in here um, as your metadata. The other tab you're going to do is your cover. As you can see, there's the cover to my book. And this cover needs to be uploaded separately into your research um, tab in Scrivener. And I showed you how to do that with images in the previous video, and it's exactly the same thing. You're just going to add it as a file. And then on this section, we just select it from the drop down, and it becomes the cover. As you can see, all the other research images that I have are there, but the one we care about is the book cover. The contents tab here is the other important tab that you're going to want to visit before compiling your book. This is a section that you'll use to create your table of contents that you've seen in my previous videos, uh, and it will appear in your final output. I typically include all sections of my book by making sure all of the boxes here under the include column are checked. I also like to personally do a page break for each section just to give it a little bit of separation so you'll see those are checked as well. Uh, there are a few other tabs you can certainly explore and see if any of them might offer some useful features that, that you may use personally. However, I typically just leave everything else in the other tabs at their default settings. So since I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and hit compile and create my book should take just a few minutes 
And then we have our completed book. Let's see, I'm going to save this one over here. Demo, and we'll just call this one test book. And you'll see down here it's got a .mobi file extension, and that is Amazon's proprietary file format for Kindle books. So I hit save. <coughs> Takes just a second, and now Scrivener has completed compiling the document, so it's all finished. And that is all there is to exporting in Scrivener. I do want to show you one other quick thing um, to test our books. We're going to go back over to Amazon. This time, we're going to download a tool called Kindle Previewer. What Kindle Preview is going to let you do is test your book to see what it looks like before you actually upload it into the KDP program to actually publish your book. It's the same thing. We're just going to agree to terms and hit download now next to the um, file format that you have. It's a pretty decent sized file, so I'm going to pause right here and let it finish downloading before I come back. All right, so our file has finished downloading, and once it's done downloading, we're just going to double click on the install file, and we're just going to follow through all the prompts until installation is complete. All right, so my installation is finished, and I'm going to go ahead and double click the application file on my desktop, which you're not going to be able to see, but um, I've actually created a shortcut icon to it, but it should be in your programs once you've finished installing. But I'm just going to double click it so it'll open up. And there you go. To get your f uh, the book that you just exported into the previewer, we're just going to go to File, open book and I guess I'll just pull that one open since it's already there this is a different book this is the startup photography business kit that I have <coughs> and it's just loading real quickly and you'll notice you can see basically any page in your book that you want uh, we can scroll through here with the arrows there's also a couple icons over here. You can see your cover by clicking on that. And you can see your table of contents by clicking over here on this button. You'll notice that the table of contents is even clickable in this previewer so that you can jump to the different sections. There we go. It's clicking on the wrong thing. There we go. Um, this is, this previewer is a really good tool that can save you hours of wasted time. And you might be wondering why it would take hours. Well, when you actually go to upload your book to Amazon, you'll see uh, it can actually take anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. I've, I've had it not take a full day before, but it can um, to get approval for your book. This includes when you want to update it, if you find a mistake later, uh, spelling mistakes, formatting mistakes, maybe you want to change your book cover, anything like that you have to wait the full wait time for it to get approved again and go through the entire process before it will be approved and showing up on Amazon. So if you use this previewer and do several run-throughs and make sure that everything is exactly how you want it before you upload, even for the first time, it really will save you lots and lots of time so you can get your book up there as soon as possible. Uh, the other way you can preview your um, Kindle book is actually email it to yourself, well, to your device. <coughs> I use Kindle on my iPad, and I just email my MOBI files to my account name at kindle.com, and it puts the file right into my library, and I can check everything I need to just as if someone who was buying my book were to view it. Anyway, that's all there is to the exporting process. It could take you a few run-throughs to get it exactly the way you want, but once you're satisfied, you'll be ready to publish your book on Amazon, which I'm going to cover in my next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.